Hey, this is Jason with Lloyd Land Surveying again. Uh, we just made a video earlier um, talking about the new um, flood zone maps that have recently uh, arrived that affect Haskell County here in Oklahoma. So if you know somebody that lives in Haskell County, these things just uh, arrived um, in July of 2023, just last month. So um, why don't you uh, share this video with somebody that lives in Haskell County and that might affect them. So what if you get a letter from your lender saying, hey, you're now in a flood zone and you have to uh, purchase flood insurance? Uh, well, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, what uh, options there are for people that are affected by these flood zones. So um, what the lenders do is they contact or they have third party companies look at their uh, loans or the mortgages. And when people are affected by the, the uh, flood zone, well, the lender gets uh, flagged and so they uh, contact the uh, borrowers or the uh, mortgagees and they um, request uh, some flood insurance uh, to cover the loan that the lender is underwriting. And so, you know, there are a couple options um, of things to do. The first thing that when you contact the insurance agent is they need some elevation information because the insurance agent um, probably doesn't uh, have enough information just off of a map uh, to provide coverage without just, you know, maxing out the coverage and, and uh, picking the highest premium maybe. Um, I visited with some insurance agents um, back in 20, 15 or 2016 about um, flood insurance and they said that they would um, cover uh, flood insurance. They would get a policy written, but it was always going to be the maximum amount, you know, without some information. So the insurance agents need something what is called an elevation certificate. So I'm going to show you uh, what that is here. I have one pulled up and this is what can be filled out by a surveyor or an engineer. And so this elevation certificate, it is just a tool uh, that FEMA has provided for insurance agents. And so they're gonna take uh, this form right here and we as a surveyor are going to help you uh, fill this information out. So we're gonna fill out all your contact information. We're also gonna give the type of uh, building uh, that you have um, the information about it, the square footage of the uh, um, subject uh, structures. And we're going to fill out the flood information, the flood map information uh, straight from FEMA. Then we're going to give some uh, building elevation information. And so uh, we're going to fill all this stuff out. And of course, it does require uh, some field work. So we have to go out Onto the site, we have to take some elevation measurements um, of the structures and around the structures and, and gather all that information. And then we fill all this stuff out. And this elevation certificate, once it's completed, and if it's for insurance purposes, um, it's going to need some photos as well. But um, what uh, the insurance agent does is they actually go up here and they uh, take this elevation information here and they just uh, translate this stuff and, and take it and put it into their premium program to help determine uh, what is the most accurate uh, rate and coverage for your conditions. And um, so there are a couple of things with the elevation certificates that are going to help um, uh, affect insurance. And of course, the number one question that we get is, you know, uh, can it's always phrased, can you get us out of the flood zone? And, you know, for a surveyor's point of view, um, you know, we know that uh, people want out of the flood zone because they don't want to pay flood insurance. But, you know, it's always at the lender's discretion to require that or not. Um, but what we can do is if the conditions are met, if the, if the uh, land around your house has an elevation that is above the flood zone elevation, 
and then we can uh, fill out uh, some information with FEMA and uh, we can complete an ELOMA, uh, an electronic letter of map amendment. We can take this elevation certificate information and put it in on FEMA's website. And we can request that the subject structure, the house or whatever, uh, be removed from the um, flood insurance requirement. Now that's just if the conditions are correct. So you remember me earlier saying, I'm going to go back to our map here. Um, earlier I said that uh, this was a zone A. A zone A is actually a designated flood area, but it does not have any flood elevations on it, on the maps. So there's no way for a surveyor to compare the ground elevation uh, to this uh, because there's no elevation to compare to. So what we have to do is uh, reach out to the Corps of Engineers in Tulsa and ask them to give us a flood elevation at a certain uh, coordinate that we find on the map here. So if we find somebody's home and we say uh, we need to know what the flood elevation is of this home right here, then they can provide us with that information and that way we can uh, um, compare the ground elevation to that. I know this is a lot of information, uh, but what you can do is if you get contacted and people are saying, hey, you're in a flood zone, you need flood insurance, the first thing to do is talk to your insurance agent and then contact a surveyor. Contact us, let us know what you got going on, and we'll, we'll be glad to walk you through. We know exactly what to do step by step uh, for your situation. And so uh, we just wanted to share with you information about what is going to take place after you get contacted uh, from your lender. And so uh, we hope this helps you. Just reach out to us. We're available. Uh, all of our contact information is online. Just look up Lloyd Land Surveying. All right. Thank you. Hope this helps you. God bless you.